The month of January has gone by incredibly fast and we're only a few days away from February, so it's time to start a new bullet journal theme. The overarching theme that Janae and I went with for February is candy and I decided to go bright and colorful with my setup for this upcoming month, which is something I never do. So let's just jump on into it. All right, starting off with my first two pages of this setup for February. I had initially gone with some script lettering here, but for some reason, it just really came up for me that I needed to do something a little bit different and more outside of the box. I think that was what this entire month theme was, was for me, is that I typically don't use a lot of color. And this particular setup is something that 2019 Macy never would have done. It's just too outside of my normal box but I'm definitely proud to see the growth within myself. So anyway, with the lettering, I decided to go with the bubble letter font. Oh, there's my cat, say hi to Coco. But this is a bubble lettering that I really used to do in like middle and high school. I really just use my normal kind of font and make it into bubble letters. And I haven't done bubble letters in such a long time. So I thought this would be a fun way to bring it in. And then I colored in the top part of each letter with a brown Crayola tips marker to give off that like candy chocolate dripping down situation. I did go back in later and add some white highlights with my gel pen, but it definitely like came together and gave the vibe that I really wanted. Moving on to the left side of the spread, I am excited to be continuing with my goal of doing more quote pages this year. And I just thought this one was cute and simple, kind of like gave a little bit of a nod to Valentine's Day, but also just like everybody loves candy. Or maybe not everybody, but I definitely love candy. So I just thought it was like cute and simple. So the quote is, all you need is love and a little candy. And that pretty much finishes up these first two pages. Next up, I put my calendar spread. I pretty much always do this one next in line. I don't really know why. I guess I like to have it more toward the beginning of the month, but I decided to do individual boxes this time, and I don't think I've ever actually set it up this way, so this is new for me, and I enjoyed filling in each little individual box. I thought it was cool, and again, super colorful, which is outside of my normal wheelhouse. After coloring in all the boxes, I realized that they were definitely missing something. So I went back in and added drop shadows to each individual box. I really wanted to stick with this same bubble letter font throughout my entire setup. So you see it again here in the spelling of February going across the calendar. I also am realizing at this moment that I totally forgot to add numbers to my days. So I'm gonna have to go back and do that uh, after I finish with this video. I did add an extra few boxes on the side of the calendar. One is a little simple YouTube tracker that I've started doing this year just on my bullet journal videos, just for pure purposes of like, I'm curious to know how they do, how much they grow, and which ones you guys seem to really like more than the other ones moving forward. So I just have that there for specifically my bullet journal videos. And then the goals area, I decided to just let myself have three goals for the month. 
I used to, like in 2019 and 2020, have individual goal pages for each month. And it was always like a lot of goals, but I'm trying to do better about making more attainable, smaller, less goals. <laughs> so that's why I only have the three. But moving on, next is the habit and mood tracker spread. I have been doing habit and mood trackers all on, I guess, like a two page spread kind of together where they're all horizontal. But I wanted to kind of go back to the basics on this one and do it uh, like I used to do it in my 2019 journal. I hadn't done it in this style in a while and I thought it'd be really fun to fill in the back of the calendars with the fun colors that I have been using throughout this entire setup. I did decide to leave the calendars blank with no numbers. I typically don't do this because I get very confused, but I'm gonna give it another shot. And my goal is to just fill in the days with my black micron pen with a little circle once I complete a habit. But moving on to the mood tracker, again, keeping that same lettering. And for the mood tracker, I'm doing individual little pieces of candy like for each individual day to represent my mood. I still have not decided if I should just color in each piece of candy with a different color or if I should do a different color and a different pattern or if I should just do a pattern. So please let me know down in the comments below what you guys think would look the best. I kind of want to do a pattern just because it's a little more like complicated, more creative and gives me like time and space to be creative every day. But I don't know that that's something I'll really stick with. So let me know what you all think and um, I'll definitely take it into consideration. Next up is my highlight of my day spread. You all heard me talk about this spread in my January setup. I love it so much. I started it, I believe in September of 2020 and it's something that always kind of regrounds me for the day. I'm not always the best at it. There's definitely days that I forget and I don't fill it out, but it is still really nice for the days that I remember and have a nice moment to relook over my day and bring out at least one positive thing from the day. And I do try to keep this pre spread pretty simple just because it typically ends up being a lot of writing and I like to make sure that I have plenty of space to do so. My last spread before my weekly spread is my brain dump. And again, this is another one that I like to keep extremely simple just so I have the most possible space to write down the random things that I need to write down or test out. Like in January, I did a lot of testing of colors for this month and testing of fonts. So sometimes those are things that I'll do in this area. But I love how this one turned out. I like how simple it is. I did decide to skip the playlist for this month because genuinely my playlist would have been identical to my one in January. So if you do want to see that, I will link my January video down below. But for whatever reason, I'm still just on a podcast kick and I have not been listening to any new music. So I didn't really feel like I needed to do another one. Okay, we're on to the last spread of this February 2021 setup. It's my weekly spread. I'm so excited that February starts on a Monday. It's like the best. If you are a bullet journaler, 
you will understand it's really just so perfect when your days or the month starts on a Monday. It's just like, ugh, chef's kisses. We love to see it. And so anyway, I am setting this up. I decided to go with a simple little candy situation up at the top. I've really gotten into this specific style of setup. I really hated it in 2019 and a good chunk of 2020. I also didn't like it. I just prefer to typically write more horizontally and not so much vertically. But for whatever reason this year, I've gotten super into this style. So I wanted to, to stick with something a little basic, but also it still gave me a lot of room to write because I have quite the busy February coming up. And that finishes up my weekly spread. So let's jump to the final flip through. watching this video make sure you follow scribbles and spreads on instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video